What's up, people? It's your man, Chef from Off The Dome, back in for another quick video. Today, we're going to talk about my man, Chris Breezy, Chris Brown. Of course, as we all know, Chris Brown apparently had his MMA, uh, Michael Jackson tribute, his concert canceled at the AMAs. However, he won Best Male R&B Pop Artist of the Year. So, Chris Brown is a very delicate situation. You see, Chris Brown is one of the few artists who is canceled and uncanceled at the same time. And I understand the confusion because normally when the artist is canceled, they don't have radio play, they don't have screaming, playlisting, they pretty much don't get press on war shows, they don't get featured on ads. Chris Brown under influence is currently on pop radio and hip hop and R&B radio. Go Crazy was the number one radio song of 2020 into 2021. No Guidance with Drake, Heat with Gunna. There's been plenty of Chris Brown songs promoted on pop and R&B radio. Hip-hop and R&B radio is one thing, but being on pop radio is a huge thing because that's top 40 radio. Go Crazy was on top 40 stations for a whole two years and still gets played to this day. Under Influence is making a radio push right now. It's currently number 28 in pop songs. So, needs to say, Chris Brown, although he's canceled... They're promoting his songs, and it's more confusing because he owns his masters, so Under Influence is owned by CBE Entertainment and RCA Records. So it's not like this is just a label trying to make money off him. He literally owns his masters, so literally he's getting a decent portion of the money. AMAs have him as a nominee. They nominated him, and I believe they nominated one of his songs for an AMA award, and the fans voted for him to win Best Male R&B Artist. They canceled a set. Which is odd because if you're going to cancel somebody's music set because you don't agree with their past decisions, why have them in that category and why have them have the fans vote for them and let them win? It's a very confusing situation. And one thing that I thought the reason why Chris Brown probably has these struggles is for the main reason of Chris Brown is still a profitable artist, but they don't want to give him too much. And I think that's what we're seeing with the AMAs, what we might see with the Grammys in the future. The Billboard Music Awards did that with him as well. They will nominate him from stuff. They will promote his music videos. They will have him on radio. They will give him a scream lesson because they're still making money off him. He's making money too, but they don't want him to make too much. They don't want him to get too big because they know if they gave him the same treatment of a Drake, Taylor Swift, Fidel, he will be just, he will get bigger. Chris Brown's always a big name. He has a legendary career, but obviously since he's able to have hits still 15, I'm sorry, 17 years later after his debut, he's still a huge artist. They don't want him to get any huger. That's why AKA when Breezy the album, not AKA, I'm sorry. Earlier this year when Breezy the album came out, the Billboard didn't promote it, the Vice didn't promote it, Rolling Stones, no one talked about the album to days later. And a lot of people didn't know Chris Brown released the album unless he was a hardcore Chris Brown fan. I followed him on Spotify, so I saw his notification for the album. I knew he was going to drop an album this year, but I didn't know it was going to drop that date because I don't follow him on Instagram. That made me follow him on Instagram because I was like, they're going to, not show him when he's released that the blogs aren't going to talk about it, then that's totally crazy. So, overall, Chris Brown is canceled. However, he's only canceled to a certain extent. He's still a very profitable music artist who can make the millions of dollars, and he's making himself millions of dollars, so they'll promote him. But sometimes they'll take the rock from underneath him so he won't get too high. That's what it seems like. And I don't feel totally bad for Chris Brown because he's done a lot of things in his life that he shouldn't be proud of. And I understand why people aren't trying to cancel him. However, I do understand his plight where he's saying that he wants consistency. If you're going to cancel him, go forward the baby with it. Go for R. Kelly. But don't have him on the radio being number one artist on the radio. Don't have him on playlisting. Don't have him having the number one R&B record in the country right now with under fluence. And then take his performance away. Anyway. It's your man, Chef Moth the Dome. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. We got new videos coming out daily. As always, peace, and I'm out.